Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Epcot for the festival of the holidays. We're going to be going around World Showcase, trying all of the festival food items, including the Epcot cookie stroll, which I'm hoping we're going to be able to finish in one day. And then later on tonight, we have a candlelight processional dining package. So we're going to have reserved seating for the candlelight processional, and I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me. Anywho's, let's go do this. Today is the opening day of the festival of the holidays and I'm happy to announce some of my favorite things are returning this year. Some of the holiday overlays on the rides, some of the holiday entertainment like the barn Santa over in Norway and it's just going to be an amazing day today. I'm going to try to cover as much as I can. This festival has so many offerings and this is such a busy week here at Walt Disney World. Yesterday was Thanksgiving, so today is Black Friday. We're at Epcot on Black Friday. I never even really thought that was going to be a thing for me. As you can see as soon as we walked in, the crowds are super, super busy today. Look at the wait for Spaceship Earth. Hi friends, happy holidays. We're going to head straight back to World Showcase because I want to do some of the festival boots and also see if we can start getting the cookie stroll going on. The cookie stroll is basically going around World Showcase, getting a cookie from each of the countries that are participating. And then if you actually eat them all, at the end they give you a free cookie. And you know, that sounds like a fun adventure to me. Here is the cookie stroll itself. And this isn't something you need to complete in one day. You actually get a little uh, stamp on your uh, passport and uh, you can keep on doing it you can come and have like one cookie a week but today we're going to try to get all five of them and you don't have to get uh, all five different ones you can just get five in general but what would be the fun in that on top of the cookie stroll they have holiday entertainment in all the country pavilions around world showcase where they actually have their version of santa claus telling the story of christmas like i said my favorite is the barn santa over in norway but they also have father christmas and a lot of other ones and it's just really interesting to learn all this christmas history it's literally one of my favorite things to do also, if you recall in the beginning of the video, I said that we have candlelight processional dining packages and we're going to go over all the information about those, but that is something we can look forward to later on tonight. The show times are 5 15, 7 p.m. and 8 30 and we're going to be doing the 8 30 one, which I like the later one because it's so pretty at night with all the Christmas lights. I also love how they just play Christmas music throughout Epcot. It really sets the mood, but this festival is definitely one that's best enjoyed at night because like I said, you get to see all the pretty lights and it's just really beautiful here. Here is the festival guide map and if we want to do the cookie stroll, I know the cookie stroll ends right here. So we're going to actually go to the left and start in Mexico and then go all the way around and then finishing over here so we can redeem our free cookie at the redemption booth. Before we make our journey around World Showcase, I think we should stop and see if they have any special Festival of the Holidays merchandise because you know that stuff will sell out pretty fast. Here is a look at some of the Festival of the Holidays merchandise. A lot of Olaf. Olaf even got its own spirit jersey right here. And I know my sister probably would love that. They also have some coffee mugs, uh, some blankets, and a couple of annual pass holder things. Like this over here is really nifty. I like the fact that Spaceship Earth is in the background there. This is $49.99. And I'm shocked a lot of this isn't sold out yet. I may have or I may not have picked up something for somebody for Christmas, but uh, I don't want to show you guys or it's going to ruin the Christmas surprise. And I think it's time to uh, start on our cookie stroll around World Showcase. The first booth we actually come upon is the Chestnuts and Good Cheer Holiday Kitchen. And it looks like they sell a good mixture of different cinnamon glazed uh, nuts like almonds, cashews, pecans, and fire roasted chestnuts. And then also they have a uh, T.G. Lee eggnog and the American Heritage Gourmet Hot Cocoa. But it doesn't look like they have any of the cookies here. They also have some beer down there. Ivanhoe Park Brewing Company Hazy Nutty Cracker Sweet Stout. That's that sounds really really good actually the nuts sound pretty good and also the eggnog but I think we're gonna skip that booth because there's actually so many booths that we're gonna be going to today I kind of want to make sure we get the ones that are on the cookie stroll or ones that actually have some of my favorite uh, like food items from the past holiday or the festival of the holidays 
right here at the Mexico Holiday Kitchen booth. They have what I think is one of my all-time favorite margaritas. They have the horchata margarita, and it is so, so good. Oh, they also have a mistletoe salvesa. That sounds amazing as well. Oh, wow, it actually has a uh, black currant liquor as a topper. I might have to get that. I might have to try the mistletoe salvesa. Even though I do love the horchata margarita, but that's something I don't think I've had before. Don't you worry, we will definitely be back to try the horchata margarita because that's one of my favorites. But here is the mistletoe sarvesa, and there's basically a shot inside this little beer. So a shot and I got the six ounce beer. If you get the full beer, it's kind of like getting two shots. I feel like it's gonna be a strong drink, but we're gonna try it. Oh yeah, that's delicious. I like that. And you can taste the black uh, the blackberry in there. Very holiday-ish. <laughs> Now that we've had our first festival item, we need to find ourselves a cookie, but I had to stop because I'm pretty sure the barn Santa is coming out. We're in Norway, and this is one of my all-time favorite things right here. The barn Santa is like a mischievous Santa, and he actually likes to play tricks on people, so that's why he's always my favorite, and he kind of reminds me of uh, Belschnickel. If you ever watch The Office and Dwight Schrute, when he comes over uh, yeah, with his uh, traditional Dutch Christmas, it kind of reminds me of Belschnickel a little bit. I wish they had a Belschnickel here, but I don't think they do. Hi. 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 Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. My name is Sigri, and I am very excited today to tell you about Christmases in Norway. In fact, here is a little bit of a Christmas carol sung by children of all the ages, the mouse song or Musa Visa. When nights are getting longer and lakes are freeze to ice, Mother Mouse will probably about a foul device. We must avoid the mouse trap, for there is not to fear. We'll all be celebrating at Christmas time this year. It is said that this barn Santa is a uh, very old and a rather odd looking little gnome. Hey, that's not true. Careful, Seagri, I got my eye on you. What was that, sir? Nothing? No? Hey. Oh. Okay, uh, where was I? Uh, oh, funny, I seem to have lost my uh, train of thought. Do a <laughs> Allow me to take advantage of Seagree's dramatic pause to properly introduce myself. The legendary Barn Santa! <laughs> At your service. Enough? <laughs> That's right, the Norwegian piggies say no. So, I'm gonna need everyone from here over to be my hungry, hungry Norwegian piggies, huh? Let me hear your best nuff nuff! Nuff nuff! Alright, that's enough. <laughs> oh, 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 He is my absolute favorite. I love it. It is so fun and festive. And there's going to be shows like that all around World Showcase and showing their like country's Santa representation. And I really, really do love it. It's such a festive thing to do. Now it is cookie time and we made it to the Germany Holiday Kitchen. And this is where the first cookie for our cookie stroll is going to be. And it's the Linzer cookie, which is my absolute favorite. The best thing about this is the cookies are actually pretty cheap. They're $2.50. But if you don't want cookies, they do have pork schnitzel, they have a cheese fondue and a bread bowl, and a lot of other amazing items too. Now we gotta get our pamphlet stamped. Bada bing, bada boom. Excellent. One down, five to go. Here we go, the first cookie. And it's a nice Linzer cookie, and these are so, so good. They make a little bit of a mess, but we're gonna dive right in. Mm. That is so soft and delicious. I love it. My favorite cookie. I think it was my mom's favorite cookie when she did the cookie stroll two years ago, actually, too. One cookie down, and now we've got four more till we get our free cookie. That one was so good. I don't know if I had powdered sugar all over my beard. I don't know. It was a very messy cookie, but I loved it. 
As you can see tonight, the guest narrator for the Candlelight Processional is Ali'i, who is the voice of Moana. So Moana is going to be the guest narrator for the Candlelight Processional, and they always have a celebrity guest narrator. They have like Neil Patrick Harris and Pat Sajak, and it's gonna be a very busy show tonight. That's why I ended up getting the dining package, and right now they're actually lining up for the five o'clock showing, so that's three and a half hours, and there's already a line for standby. That's why I'm so happy that I got the dining package because the dining package guarantees me a seat in there. And if not, I would have to wait three, maybe four hours actually before the show would start. And honestly, sometimes you don't even get in then. Our next stop is going to be over here in America where they actually have their own Christmas tree and Santa Claus out meeting and greeting people. But we're here for the cookies. I kind of feel like Santa could say the same thing, like he's here for the cookies, but he's here to meet people and say hi and see what uh, some kids want for Christmas. Here is a look at the American holiday table. They've got a slow worsted turkey dinner, which is amazing, a holiday pot pie, a pumpkin gingerbread cheesecake, and the chocolate crinkle cookie with the dove, uh, dove on top. So they added actually a little piece of candy on top of the cookie, a lot of sweet. And then uh, you can meet Santa right on over here. He's actually meeting all day, 11.45 to 5.45. And it's a nice little meet and greet. I love the uh, Santa Claus display that they have right here. Oh, isn't that amazing? <laughs> two cookies down. <laughs> All right, now two cookies down. Look at this bad boy. This is gonna be a very chocolatey cookie, but we're gonna dive right in. I have to say, all of the cookies so far, well, I've only done two, have been super soft and delicious. I remember this last year, and it is a very chocolatey chocolate cookie. Not my favorite, because I don't like a lot of chocolate. I like a little chocolate, but uh, this is a very, very good cookie. So if you like a lot of chocolate, this cookie's right up your alley. I am definitely gonna be needing a drink after that cookie. Like a glass of milk would be great. I wish we could make our way back out to the eggnog stand because that would actually go very well with that cookie. But uh, we're gonna keep moving along and head our way to Japan. Here is the Japan Holiday Kitchen, and they have the sushi Christmas tree. This was a popular item last year. And then they also have a chocolate banana boba, and they actually have a chocolate uh, Tokyo banana, which is an alcoholic version of that, with cocoa, Japanese milky drink, banana syrup, and vodka for $8. And they also have a pomegranate giraffe lager. I think we're gonna have to try the chocolate Tokyo banana. I think it, it has to happen. This isn't exactly what I was thinking about uh, getting when I said I needed a drink after that cookie, but it's the chocolate Tokyo uh, banana. I'm really excited to try this. I love chocolate bananas. Oh wow, why is that? That is so good. Holy moly. Oh man, you can't taste the vodka though. That's the thing because the banana is really, really strong. This is very delicious. I take back what I say about not tasting the vodka. Give it two sips and it, you can start to taste it. Very, very delicious though. I absolutely love this one. I love when I try something and I don't taste it right away and then after a couple of sips you're like, oh, there it is. That's the stuff. <laughs> I have spent the majority of time actually in the uh, cookie stroll uh, festival booth lines like I said they could be anywhere from like 20 to 40 minutes and we have one more cookie before we actually probably need to start heading on over for our candlelight processional dining package the next booth is Lime, and they actually have a Hanukkah storyteller kind of like we saw with barn Santa on our way over from Norway I love that song. And, and you know, there are so many wonderful Hanukkah songs and traditions out there in this great big world. And it seems that no matter where you are, Hanukkah is always about remembering the miracle. 
I've really set myself up for a challenge day trying to complete everything as much as I can. I definitely foresee a future vlog where I come back and try a lot of the food items that are actually at the boots. But today it's about cookie stroll, Santa Clauses, ride overlays, and the candlelight processional. Right here is Lachaim, the holiday kitchen, and they've got the potato latkes and also the black and white cookie, which is a part of the cookie stroll. And we're gonna actually get that, and that is plant based. So, this is actually something very popular. Some people actually buy all five of them so they can get the free cookies at the end. And we're gonna hop in line because this one seems like another very long, long line. They're all very extremely busy today. Our candlelight processional dining package is at 8.30, but we're actually eating at 2.30 because that's the way they do it. And there's a handful of different restaurants. I think it's Garden Grill, there's uh, Coral Reef, Rosen Crown, and the Beer Garden. So you actually pick a time to eat, and then they give you a time to go catch one of the candlelight processionals. And ours is at 8.30, but we're eating at 2.30. So there's a big gap in between. So we might go do that and then come back, finish the cookie stroll, and then do the candlelight processional oh. three cookie down three cookie down and this is the black and white plant-based cookie and this is soft too look at this bad boy it's actually almost breakable I almost, I want to break it but then I'll ruin it so we're gonna bite it right down the middle right down the middle here seriously I remember uh, the past couple cookie strolls, the cookies were sometimes very hard, but these were all just so soft. They're like, honestly, they, they fall apart as you're eating them. The only thing that's holding it together is the chocolate. And that is amazing, isn't it? So far, the Linzer is still my favorite. The black and white comes in at a close second and the crinkle cookie as uh, number three. But we have two more to go. Two more to go within our free cookies. Now we gotta keep moving along though. I'm hoping for uh, Father Christmas over in the United Kingdom. Maybe we can catch him before we actually have to head on over for Din Din. I stopped talking as soon as the music stopped right there. This is where Father Christmas usually comes out, so hopefully we can catch him before we have to go to eat. Oh, here he comes. 45. 46. 47, 48, tell him there, 49, 60, hear ye, hear ye, gather round, come on down everyone, gather round, there we come a wassailing among the leaves so green, there we come a wandering so fair to be seen, love and joy come to you, and to and God bless you and send you a happy new year and God send you a happy new year Now it's time to check in for our candlelight processional dining package and I'm very happy because at the last minute I was going to go to Garden Grill but I was able to switch it to Rosen Crown which I'm much more happier to do and it's so lucky because I was able to switch that day of and these are actually really hard to get the price for this candlelight procession package is $61 and you get a drink a appetizer uh, entree and a dessert so we're gonna take a look at the menu and see what we got to choose from I've eaten at Rosen Crown plenty of times I basically had everything on this menu so maybe I'll try to do something a little bit different I mean the main reason we're actually even doing this is just so we can guarantee a spot to actually watch the candlelight processional so we'll see if it's worth it or not we got our table and we're sitting outside actually and it's really hard to eat after eating a lot of those cookies i mean we only really had three cookies but i'm going to try to keep it light i think i'm going to get a soup and maybe the pub wells burger which i had here before and it's amazing and then it also comes with a dessert so we're looking at a lot of food but i mean i kind of want to see if this is worth the value 61 dollars I'm really happy that we got ourselves an outside table. The view is amazing. And can you imagine being here for like a firework dining package? I've been here and done it before, but I haven't done it for Harmonious yet. So I think that's something we need to do in the future because you can just sit here and enjoy the fireworks. And there goes the boat. Bye boat. 
I did ask the server and they did add a couple of items that aren't normally on the menu. So for starters, we have a soup that's a turkey and mushroom soup that's not normally on the menu. And I decided to get that. And also they still have pumpkin cheesecake left over. So you can get pumpkin cheesecake as well. But I'm gonna stick to the things that I normally get here. I'm not really a big fan of cheesecake and I'm happy to get the Welsh burger because like I said, that's one of my favorite things here other than the fish and chips. Here is the turkey and mushroom soup, and it actually has a truffle sauce inside of it as well. Oh wow, look at that. That is a whole bunch of turkey and mushroom in there. <laughs> I feel like we might be getting served leftover turkey here. <laughs> I don't know, we're gonna give it a go though. It's a good way to repurpose the turkey. Mm. It is good though. <laughs> It's very flavorful soup though. And like I said, they put a lot in there. I mean, it's a big helping right there. I also like the chinaware too. It's always my favorite thing about coming to the Rose and Crown. This is also one of the cheapest uh, dining packages. The prices go uh, Beer Garden, $62, Rose and Crown, $63, Garden Grill Restaurant, $71, and Coral Reef, $74. But I really believe this is the best value for $63. At Garden Grill, you kind of just get the all you care to enjoy uh, feast that they normally get. But here you actually pick the you know appetizer, entree, dessert, and beverage. So I feel like it's a good price. It's $63. That's how much all this would cost. Plus you get reserved viewing and that's kind of like free. And here is the burger. Look at this. Look at these leeks on here. So, so good. I love it. This is such a delicious burger right here. And I love the chips too. Very salty and crispy. This is really one of my favorite burgers on property. I still have to get to Steakhouse 71 and try that burger, but this is this is really good for me. All right, we're gonna go into it. It's a big burger. I feel like somebody wants my burger. I'm getting I'm getting the crazy eyes. Look at that. Oh, he's just turned his head. He's looking. You can have this. No, no, no. <laughs> The fries are so, so salty. So, so salty. I feel like I'm just gonna drink my iced tea. I actually got a half and half iced tea. A little bit of lemonade, a little bit of iced tea. I think I'm gonna call it iced lemon. <laughs> That's a little Michael Scott joke for you. A lot of people just call them Arnold Palmers and they are so delicious. Oh, oh, oh. The birds are back. Oh, they're flying in. What? Oh, oh. And now it is time for the sticky toffee pudding. Look at how cute this is. I really do love this pudding here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat it all because like I said, we still have two more cookies to get to. Well, technically three cookies, but the third one's free and it's packaged up so we can take it home. This is the good stuff right here. Oh yeah. Oh wow. That is so, so good. <laughs> Look at that gooing right there much too good and now we're all done with dinner and we got ourselves our candlelight processional seating uh card so this guarantees us a nice spot to actually watch the candlelight processional i'm so happy for seven o'clock too I asked and they actually switched it for me. At first I was gonna do 8.30, but then I decided to do seven because I kinda hear there's something special gonna happen over by Spaceship Earth, and I wanna see if the rumor's true. Obviously, one of the things that I'm gonna miss the most is the uh, illuminations tag that they used to do for the holidays. It was one of the best things I've ever seen. Now, I don't think they're gonna do any fireworks, but I do hear they're gonna do like a holiday rendition of Beacons of Magic, which is like the light show that is on Spaceship Earth, and that would be so amazing. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me, but I got, a, I got an insider tip. An insider tip. Now, I don't know if it was announced, but I got an insider tip. But we need to finish the cookie stroll, and we're almost done. We only have two cookies to go, and we're at the Yukon Holiday Kitchen, which is the holiday kitchen here in Canada, and they have the Snickers Doodle Cookie. Snickers Doodle Cookie. I like how they did that. And it's made with little Snicker bar pieces, and this will be our fourth cookie? 
so uh, we're gonna have to get it. They also have a lot of other good things here. I've actually enjoyed almost everything at this stand. It's a really good holiday one. Ooh, the peanut butter and banana porter. Oh boy. There we go. Four cookies down. There we are. The Snickers Doodle. The, the Snickers Doodle. This looks so good. Here we go. Again, such a soft, soft cookie. But I do suggest actually getting all of the Snickers in a bite. You know what I mean? Don't just bite the side there. I should have gotten a little bit of the Snickers and everything all together because it kind of just plain, it kind of just tastes like a cookie, a non Snickerdoodle cookie if you just eat the cookie. That's what I figured out. So this is gonna be my redemption bite. Oh yeah. But now it's the final countdown, the gingerbread cookie. The last cookie on our cookie stroll before we get our redemption cookie. Right there it is. But they also have a lot of other amazing things here. Ooh, they have the salted caramel spaceship earth cookie. I got that last year, it was so good. They have the mouse crunch, which is this right here. And then the snowball cookies. These are all really awesome. Oh, that makes me really sad because I really wanted to try these. We're definitely coming back. We're gonna do a whole other vlog just on all of the other food items because that's gonna be amazing. There we go. Yay! Complete it. Yay! That is a good, I feel good about that. Oh, and that's the redemption. I love it. Here it is. The last cookie we had to buy before we get to go to the redemption. And it's the gingerbread man. And you know, head first, always. <laughs> that was so much fun. And we've officially completed. Now we get to go do our redemption. And now it's time to get our redemption cookie. I am so excited. We worked hard for this one. Right here is the redemption, the holiday sweets and treats. It also looks like a lot of other people worked hard too, but we did it. We finished the holiday cookie stroll on the first day. There we go. It's redemption time. I finished it all. Bada bing. I love it. Nice. Thank you. That's the counter for today? Oh, wow. Oh. Your redemption cookie. Look at this. And your redemption ornament. Holy moly. Have a good day. Enjoy. Jackpot. Thank you. Holy moly. I was not expecting all of that. Look at that. We got a cookie. We got a ornament from Freeform. I can't pick it up. Hold on. It was stuck on the table, but look at this, a free ornament for the 25 days of Christmas on Freeform. Then we got the cookie, and then some peppermint soft serve in this amazing holiday cookie stroll cup. I can't believe it, all of this was free. Like, isn't that cool? Well, it wasn't free. We, we uh, earned it. We spent $12.50, uh, five cookies for $2.50 a piece, and this is what we ended up getting. So I'm not gonna finish the cookie, I'm gonna take it home with me, but I am gonna try some of the peppermint soft serve here. You know, since this I can't take home, but I am gonna keep the cup. I mean, it's coming home with me. <laughs> now that the cookie stroll has officially been completed, we're gonna make our way back out to the front of the park, because remember I told you, rumor has it, they're gonna do like a holiday beacons of uh, magic uh, light show on Spaceship Earth. So it's gonna be like a holiday version, and that's gonna look so pretty. Now, I don't know 100%, it hasn't been announced by Disney, but a little birdie told me, so I might as well just go check it out. Go take a peek see, you know? Luckily, because we got our reserved seating for the uh, candlelight processional, we don't have to wait in line because we do have to be back at 7 o'clock for that. And uh, people usually have been waiting about three hours, so it bought up a lot of time for us. And we're going to see if the seating is worth it once we get over there. I mean, that's the biggest thing. Is it worth paying the $60? I mean, it's kind of worth it, especially if you planned on having dinner. So if you planned on having dinner, then yes, it's worth it. But would you actually schedule? to do it is the thing another really cool thing to point out and I'm not too sure if we'll have time to do it today but uh, our favorite little figment of our imagination has his Christmas sweater back on the same one he had last year so that's really cute a fun little holiday overlay 
along with the uh, holiday overlay at Figment with his Christmas sweater, they also have the uh, Merry and Bright overlay in Living with the Land. Like I said, I don't know if we're gonna get, you know, the opportunity to do those today, but we're coming back. Today I'm gonna go with the lead that something special is gonna happen. <laughs> Here it is, and we're just gonna sit here and wait and uh, see if it happens. Okay. That was awesome. I'm not too sure if the beginning of it came out on camera because, you know, with those lights, it actually makes the camera like go in and out of focus, but it was so worth it. Now we have to rush on over to go to the candlelight processional and we're gonna see if it was worth actually waiting around and paying because I'm gonna show up probably just as the show starts. So hopefully I still get a good seat. I mean, I paid for reserve seating, so hopefully. So it's a sticker you put on your shirt. I thought it was a ticket. I was like, I got the golden ticket ticket but it's the sticker so we're showing up exactly eight minutes before it's uh showtime and we'll see where we end up sitting here oh wow this is really awesome we can basically just go right up to the front row almost i mean this is as good as it gets right here oh see this makes me super happy we're gonna be up and close right here as our celebrity narrator this evening, here on stage in just a few minutes, Ali Cravalho. This is so amazing. I can't believe Moana is going to be narrating this. I love Moana. Like this is, and, and we've got such amazing seats. Okay, I am sold on the dining package, 100%, because I had a friend who came here and waited uh, for several hours, and she had to sit all the way back there and we just showed up five minutes before showtime and front row pretty amazing i wanted to come out to the outside for a second we'll move back in because i have plenty of space here but i'm pretty sure all the singer is going to come down right here so it'll be nice to catch that on film Welcome this evening's special guest narrator, Ali Cravalho. of the candlelight processional at Disneyland over 60 years ago. This year, Walt Disney World celebrates 50 years of magic here in Florida. And in that time, literally millions of guests have enjoyed the Christmas story, the traditional carols, and especially the glorious music of this holiday season.
world mark this joyful season with heartfelt sentiment. As we each treasure our unique holiday traditions of family, faith, and culture, let us join together in celebrating the birth of the blessed babe in a manger and rejoice in the universal message of peace on earth and goodwill toward all. Joy to the world! shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. As we say in Hawaii, Mele Kaliki Maka and Hauoli Makahiki Ho. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. However you celebrate during this time of year, may you and yours find the love and joy and peace of this holiday season. about how that show gives me goosebumps every single time I see it. It is absolutely amazing. I did notice that they actually changed a little bit of the narration, and that's really cool because I think the uh, celebrity narrator is supposed to make it a little bit personalized, but a couple of things they changed, and I really, really loved it. I loved how she said Mali Kaliki Maki, and that was really awesome. I was really hoping that she would like say, my name is Moana. <laughs> like it would have been so funny, but overall, such an amazing experience. All of the candlelight processional orchestra, the singers, and the Voices of Liberty. And there they go. Look at. Oh. 
Wow, I'm so fancy! One of the things I feel like I missed out on uh, is some of the great beer flights they have. And take a look at this one right here. It comes with a maple cinnamon coffee beer, a cookie blonde ale, and a peanut butter banana porter. So I think we're gonna get it. It's like a perfect holiday beer flight. Look at that, maple cinnamon coffee porter. And then this one is the maple cookie, which sounds pretty good. And then the last one is the peanut butter banana. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> As you can see, it's gotten pretty dark outside, so we wanted to find a place to enjoy the beer uh, that was a little bit lit and kind of cozy, and honestly, I think we found the perfect place in the world. Right here in front of the fireplace. Come join me by the hearth, warm up. Yes. Warm <laughs> what an awesome place! This is so cozy. But this is actually the DVC uh, information booth in Canada, but I never really paid attention that they had a fireplace over here. <laughs> it's really awesome. The maple cinnamon coffee beer. That's the darkest one, right? Yeah, the darkest. Okay, we're gonna try the darkest beer first. Cheers. Cheers. Maple cinnamon coffee. <laughs> Delicious. Did you just drink the whole thing? That was really That's good. That's delicious. And you think it's not like a dark porter beer. I was just about beer. to say that. It looks dark, like it's gonna be like a porter, but it tastes light, like really light, right? Like yeah. this taste, if I close my eyes, I think it was a light, it light beer. It was a porter, wasn't it? Unless this is backward. No, it's not a porter. Yeah, no, this isn't the banana. Yeah, this the... is just the cinnamon coffee beer. And it was wow, good. Wow, that's delicious. Yeah. Mm. The cinnamon's not overpowering. No. But it's there. I've downed it. <laughs> okay, I'll come back to that. <laughs> Alright, you want to do the yeah. next strongest? Okay. Or do you want to save the best for last, maybe? We'll save the best for last. Alright, so then now we're doing the porter. So the stranger than peanut butter and banana yeah. porter. I do like peanut butter and banana though. Yeah, I do too. So cheers. Maybe cheers. this might be good. It might be. It looks very milky. Oh no. Don't like that at all. <laughs> I didn't I'm even not look even gonna at finish you, it. And I knew I was like, mm, that is I think that's funky. not I think that's out. Uh-uh. No, no. I can see how it could be good, but it's like bitter. No, no. That no, no. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't end with that Me because too. that would have been bad. That would have soured. Ooh. Ugh. All right, now that let's just drink this to get rid of that. The Playalinda Brewing Maple Cookie Blonde Ale. Well, they're all Playalinda, so I don't know why I keep saying yeah. but anyway. Hopefully this will blonde. wash away the bad one. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's actually That's good, bad. yeah. yeah. There we go. Good, good. good Still, good. actually, the, the the coffee one was my favorite. Yeah, me too. One. Actually, the coffee. This is really good for like a regular beer on like mm -hmm. a regular day. But the coffee one's the most like special, yeah. Christmasy, holiday, nice one. It's nice by the fireplace. Isn't it? I know, right? Cozy. <laughs> <laughs> And with that, I think we are done here today. What a fun, festive day. Huh, a fun, festive festival of the holidays opening day. I mean, we got to do so much. We got the whole cookie stroll completed. We got to see four Santas? I think four Santas. No, no, we saw three Santas, and then we saw the Hanukkah uh, performance. So that's not too bad at all. We also got to see the candlelight processional, which I loved. It always gives me goosebumps. And we got to try some festive beer, along with all of the holiday projections on Spaceship Earth. So like I said, I feel like that's a good day, but there's still a lot more that we did not get accomplished tonight. So there will be a part two of Festival of the Holidays, maybe in December, maybe as we get closer to the holidays, because I really just love coming here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.